And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Julian Weigel plays alongside Christoph Kramer in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Markus Turan. And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Mahmoud Dahoud starts alongside Emre Chan in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. opportunity and this is Weigel using his strength to shield the ball Hoffman oh good work to deny the opportunity as you can see Dortmund have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward they just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today and this situation could be dangerous and a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Inching towards half-time, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Your thoughts on what they've put into the game? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, let's see this again. Look at the bend he gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. It's with Mats Hummers. Guerrero. Dahoud. Now with Alain. Can he put it away? He can't hold on to it. Dahoud must score! A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Well, let's take another look. And it doesn't come much closer than this, does it? He just squeezed it in off that post. Very good finish. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Dahoud, terrific block there. Another goal! The lead grows to four now! A rampant display! Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. 
Their pressing has been excellent. And they... It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plumb. It's a great goal. Now with Turan, can he take the chance? Foiling his opponent completely. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. It has to be, surely. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. And there it is, the final whistle, a satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.